welcome back to my channel for a vlog that hasn't taken over a month to get to you. So today is the day that me and Pickles do our first BE. We have entered the Go BE 80 um, just as a trial run for our, for our first go. Um, so we've got ridiculously late time. So it's not ridiculous, but it's late enough for me. I prefer to have an earlier time. I don't know how wobbly this is. All right, yeah, I'm walking up across the field to get the boys in. Um, but yeah, my dressage is at half past three. Then my show jumping is at five-ish, just after. And then my cross country is at 10 to six. So it's gonna be a late day. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna get the boys in now. So I'm watching where I'm walking. I'm gonna get the boys in now and then get Pickles bathed and then I've got Becky come in to plat up. So yeah, it's just gonna be a busy morning. Boys. Oh, Gussie, look at your face, all those flies. Let's get you in out of it. Hey, me, me. You all right? Hi, Mama. Do you want to come in for some hay? Yes, you got... What are you doing? Don't be naughty. Wise. Don't be nasty. Good boys. Tell Gus is the boss. That's those three in. Now I'm going to grab Dills. And then it's going to make a start of... Um, Bathing. Becky's going to come around half 10, 11 to get him plaited and a bit tidier because I'm no good at that. <laughs> and then I want to leave around one o'clock to get there for about two to then have enough time to get settled um, before dressage. I went and walked the course yesterday. The course is quite nice, quite flowing. There's nothing too scary in it couple things he's never jumped before like the, the hay cart so that's in my mind but I just got to try and be positive about it and yeah that's it but I will insert some of that a bit later breathing I've just stomped up across the field now well, the boy is bathed I can't say it was completely plain sailing was it? you pest um, he wasn't quite so well behaved as he was last week he wasn't really naughty but he just fidgeted more today whether if we had the trailer park up because my sister-in-law Jess um, she used it this morning to take her horse to school um, so they came back in the middle of me bathing. So whether that, he didn't wind him up, but he just has to like mooch and walk around. So he deposited oh, that in the bucket. So that was good. And I got a little bit stressed. Um, and then he decided to, where am I to? That he decided to bite the insulation pipes. Yeah, so I'm no good at pointing, so I probably won't be doing that anymore. Uh, yeah, so he decided to bite them because for some reason he likes to bite the insulation pipes. So I was like, ah, back off the wet. So I got a little bit rowdy, but calm back down and he's all bathed and done. So now he's got a little bit of time to dry and chill out um, before Becky comes. T Becky's arrived to make a start on making him look nice. Yeah. 
<laughs> right, yeah. Harry? Right, yeah, Harry? Yeah. Huh? Good. What have you got to say for yourself? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. She's going to put him up because I can't plan. So, yeah. So, the plaits are all done. If it was me left here, I wouldn't be down to the white bit yet. Now he's got to be all rolled up. And then you'll be looking handsome. Me, me, me. I don't think he's been plaited since November 21. You're so handsome now, aren't you? Don't rub in the trailer, please. Because he's all plaited, he's very chilled at the moment, so I'm hoping his chilled vibes still continue when I try and load him. Just loaded the truck, so I think I've got everything in here. I've got the water, wash off, fly spray, saddle, girth, bridle, bridle, martingale, grooming kit, I've got his massage pad, and that's got my three numbers in, I've got his boots, his overreach boots, some hoof oil there, step, and then in here, I've got my jacket, my three hats, my bag of clothes, my boots, and my body protector, so I think that's all I need, and his passport's in there, I've got his passport. Um, when I get there, I only need to get one hat tagged because obviously last week I managed to get my two show jump or my two peaked hats um, tagged then. So I've only got one done, so that's not too bad. And I've got about an hour now before I want to load him up, so I can go and chill for a minute. I'll try to anyway. Well, we've arrived. He was a, a complete angel to load, um, but it wasn't terrible. Really. So we're just here now. I've been down and got my hat tagged. We're doing random, random passport checks, so that was okay. Yeah, just sort of get my bearings now. And then on board for dressage half past three. So here we go, my first BEAT dressage test. Apologies now because I'm a little bit stuffy because I have hay fever and my nose gets blocked. And it's quite zoomed out, so sorry for that. So for entry at A and C track and right, we had a score of seven. Fairly straight, could be more active. Then we're around to B and it's a circle right in 20 metres and I scored a seven. There was no comment here. I was quite pleased actually that he came into this really relaxed. He didn't play up at all in the warm up and stayed relaxed through the most of the test actually. Now we're coming down um, to F and then between F and A we transition to walk three to seven steps and proceed to trot. I had a 6.5 and said the judge said transition could be more fluent. And then KXM we changed the rein and work in trot and I scored a seven. Uh, no comment from the judge. And then between M and C we're working canter left. I scored a six for that and there's comment was unbalanced uh, we then have a circle left and I scored a seven so no comment there so she was obviously fairly happy with what she saw and then we go around the arena down the long side c h e k and working canter and then k working trot scored another seven no comment and then back around to re uh, recreate what we did just now uh, at b where we circle left and I scored another seven. So he, at the start, well, actually through most of this test, he's been nice and consistent with the scoring. So that's pretty good because we don't school at all at home when I should do. We just go out and wing, wing it. So I'm quite pleased with that. And then we go to between M and C. We're back to the walk. So three to seven steps. I had a 6.5 for that again, uh, which said could be more through in the transition. So fair enough. And then, again, reflecting what we did on the other rain, we changed the rain, HXF, and I scored a seven. No comment from the judge, so she must have been happy once more. And then between F and A, we're working can to right. Uh, the comment was muddled, and I got a six. Um, then A, we're circling right again, 20 metres, and I scored a seven, which is quite good. I'm quite pleased with scoring sevens for a canter. Um... No comment. And then up the wrong side again. A-K-E-H. Working canter. 
H working trot, C medium walk. So all of those movements was for one mark. And I got a seven for that. No comment once more. Oh, so sorry, I'm snuffly. And then we're doing a free walk on the long rain MXK. I got a 6.5 for this. And the comment was need to stretch forward and down more, which I agree with. He's, he's not really one for dropping his head and stretching forward, but he does track up quite nicely in his walk. Um, but that's, you know, fair enough. Uh, then at K, we're back to medium walk. And then A, we're down the centre line and there's a mark for medium walk C to M and K to X. So I scored 6.5 and said could be steadier in the contact, which is true. He's quite, he can be quite um, steady most of the time. And for my halt at X, I scored a 6.5 and the comment was unbalanced in halt and quarters left, which is very true. I've just frozen the screen there to read you the comments from the judge. And she said, a lovely big horse with lots to like could now work more from behind and over the back to improve suppleness and balance. A pleasing test, well ridden. So I was pretty chuffed with those comments. I realised I didn't actually do any chit chat once I got back from dressage. What do you want? Hi. Don't come in here sabotaging me. I'm on the vlog. Yes. I'm a famous. Yeah, if you want to, if, if you call my 100 subscribers famous. Hi, friends. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, so we just did a really good test. Obviously, I, I would have already done a voiceover of how the judge thought my test went, but I was super, super pleased. We got the right leg both times. Um, so, yeah, I could have been happier. He's really chilled as well. He's a bit gobby now, shouting to everyone, but hopefully, he uh, isn't crazy for chill jumping. You say it's hard to tell just what I'm Six one three is our next rider. This is Charlotte Brewer with Catch Total. And they're on a draft charge of thirty two point eight. Let you walk in a heart if 
So we're back from show jumping and cross country. You're such a turd. Um, show jumping was a uh, was okay. Um, we had four faults, but I had like ten time penalties because I don't know the bell went and I took ages to start. Maybe I'm not sure how it. I'm not up to scratch with the way show jumping works. Um, and then no one was alerted, but there was quite a hold up before cross country. Um, and I think that. Um, reflected on our round he was good he was quite sticky to start when I stopped at the first which I was quite surprised at and then sticky going through water like I almost wanted to stop in there as well and then we had two stops at the hay cart which was my fence that I was unsure about but we had two stops and I retired it because I thought there's no point in trying this I don't need to go and stop it again so we called it a day at that but he's been good he's actually been very well behaved all day um, I've just got to. <laughs> you match your beard matches my top top. Yeah. Um, I've now just got to get him in the box. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that really. I don't know what more to say. Equiwill are here, so if I've bought it, then you'll have that now. Um, and yeah, that's our first be completed. Kind of completed, retired, not eliminated, nearly eliminated, but you know. It's a tick on the list. We've done one. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, there is another one coming up in a couple of weeks. I haven't entered yet. Um, so I'll see how I fare. So you might get a vlog in the next couple of weeks again. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. We're in, so I'm definitely coming home. As out starting their round, 613 is uh, Charlotte Brewer and Cash Total. They bring forward a dressage score. Up to the narrow brush box, and over there goes Helen Dunning and Guido G. Young rider experience BE for the first time. And um, 
Red Hot Chili and Bronwyn quickly through the Palisade Brush box at Tuesday 7. And out of the start box, follow and flag and flag and Jim. They bring forward a dressage score of 34.3 and clear.